The display tab shows the current weight on the TMR mixer and is the main screen within the app. Tear sets a reference weight from which subsequent readings are based, or the net weight. And the clear button clears the tear reference weight. The timer allows a countdown mix time to be entered. Selecting the timer while it is running allows the timer to be modified or cancelled. Load begins loading and mixing the ration for the selected feed group. Either the primary display or remote displays with remote control access can tap load to begin a new batch from their mobile device. The feed button begins feeding the ration and the mixer to the selected feed group. Below we can see the blue text. The first line of the blue text is the selected ingredient. While loading, this will display how much of an ingredient has been loaded in the mixer from the total amount of the ingredient expected to be loaded for the selected ration. Tap the blue text to select and substitute an ingredient when loading, if required. If you selected dry matter mode in the settings tab, you will see the dry matter icon on the main page along with the percentage of dry matter for the currently selected ingredient. You can tap this to edit the dry matter for that selected ingredient. Next is the name of the mixer. Tap the blue text to scroll and disconnect from the LibreTMR hardware or to connect to another mixer. This will show the current weight on the mixer and when loading, this displays the amount of all ingredients loaded from the total amount expected to be loaded in the mixer for the selected ration. Below this is the selected feed group and feeding. Tap the blue text to scroll and change the selected feeding group, feed group or feeding. Ensure the correct feed group is selected on the primary display before loading. When feeding or unloading the mixer, this will display the amount fed to a pen in the selected feed group from the total amount expected to be fed, fed to that pen. Lastly is the operator name. Tap the blue text to change the selected operator. To add a new operator, that could be done in the Operators tab. For more instructional videos, please visit the support page on our website, agromatics.com.